I'm crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest... But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can... Al, I... No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down, though! It's like a sheer wall! Ah! Al! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Ah! Yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry.
I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Thank you. 
could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry? What are you? What are you? Ah, no, don't! I'm sorry! Ah, ah, I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie the best friends suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway I've run through every possible course in my head if I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry.
I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Al! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! God damn! I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Hey, Al! This way to the farm!
bestseller. No reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. right about everything, and if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. This from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Sleep. We all spend oh, a third of nice our dreams break. in soft Man. embrace, somewhere it's between memories. fantasy hey, and oblivion. Hey, remember when I got you that gig? Your but first real writing, writing job, but got you started. Life. Oh, is this one of your or episodes? vice versa. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode, The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his finest over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything, all of this. But wait, no, I'm the one who's dreaming I'm asleep. Is it... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Uh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey! Something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us, it's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I gotta wipe the kids. Please don't wake... The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram.
we can make it through here, Al! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. from the other side. I'd have to find another way.
careful, Al! open, okay? As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods.
Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. Hey, let's go, man. I think we're gonna have to work together to open this gate out. It's pretty heavy. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Come on, one more gate. Let's do this thing. Are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. I think they keep too close an eye on them at the clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound... Can you hear that, Al? Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's her face? The crazy lamp lady from the town! Cynthia Weaver. Right! Must be! Okay? We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? You're a crazy bastard. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And, and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. 